Hey, dude. Do you know the uh? Do you know the Ali A meme? I want to. I want to be like. What's up, guys? Nightwalker here, and I want to start doing Fallout 4 mod reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I was reading on this, and this is the Nora Companion work in progress. Uh, with a whopping 52,000 favorites, Jesus Christ. But the update is mostly, like, mostly, uh, most of the URL is leaked onto the fucking description, so I'd help. Uh, Nora's whereabouts will appear under the miscellaneous and quest selection once you complete her recruitment quest. Uh, so. Uh, I, I'm I'm assuming that's basically like you can track her on like using a using a quest, so that's kind of neat. So all the features include wait adds Nora as voice com. They actually did a voice actor for this shit, dude. That's legit. But so far, um, I've been trying to get like a a lot of other mods here that are like decent. So I, I want I want to start like pointing out one of some of the decent mods that are on. So I want to start pointing out uh, some of the mods that are just just must have in a in a legit mod you know playthrough because I've I've downloaded I've downloaded a lot of mods like a, a lot of mods like a, a lot of a lot of mods. Oh, okay, cool. So I, I was right. Find Nora immediately. Oh, I forgot about you. I spawned her in because I was bored. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of her real quick. Alright, so the, the quest you're immediately giving after downloading the mod is O oh Spouse, Where Art Thou? And literally it's just called Find Nora, so I want to toggle that on. And, uh, so apparently she is, she's actually not that too far off from the sanctuary. Meaning that she's probably a, a mission that you can probably start off with as soon as you spawn outside the vault. Like, uh, this is a companion you can get immediately after, uh, doing the, the intro sequence. She'll have the vault. Uh, 11, 111, uh, on her, and she doesn't look that bad. So they did a really good job with this mod of you guys being able to, like, get really, um, intimate and close and get a feel for Don't the characters. The voice actor they used and the lines they are using, um, it's very, it's very easy to get emotionally connected with these characters and it's, it's very easy to get, you know, back in immersion. An immersion to the storyline, even if it's not the official storyline that the game was intended. You know, because she was shot in the face. Noah's whereabouts. So, I guess that's added after you leave her. You also get Nora's journal, which, um, is just this piece of paper. Kind of explaining how she woke up, um, in the vault before you did. Also, if you go to the quests and miscellaneous, just like the, uh, just like the, um, the, the mod said, you get Nora's whereabouts. And when you when you track it, uh, you'll always have a marker on top of her. Uh, so if you're if you're going to go out, out and fighting, and you know if you don't want that marker on, you can just turn that off. I think overall, if they're going to mess with this character in the first place, they might as well make it like a really solid mod, and they did a good job of doing that. You sure you want to travel with me? Wow, traveling with you is never dull. Alright, cool. So that's how you get her to travel with you. So, in my personal opinion, uh, I think giving her a marksman rifle, that's preferably semi-auto, is probably the best. Because uh, she tends to sit back in the sidelines, uh, behind cover, and then take shots from the distance. Uh, I tried giving her various weapons, like shotguns, uh, LMGs, uh, even a minigun, and I think her AI is just best for... Uh, a long rifle, like a kind of a, like a long distance rifle, a start rifle. So I ended up giving her a scar, which is from another mod, with a, a say on it, and made it semi-auto. Uh, so whenever she does hit some shots, she get she does some pretty good damage with the uh, the semi-auto. So as a combat demonstration, just just for shits and giggles, I found a a team of raiders that can't find me for the fucking life of them. So she likes to get back behind cover and take shots from a distance. So she's she's a uh, she's very good if you want to like um, go ahead and
It's basically the same AI as the Raiders, almost. She also tends to stray behind a lot, so you'll find her kind of like... You'll find her mostly, um, every now and again just teleporting straight to you. Because, uh, she, uh... She has a hard time keeping up with you while, while traveling. Which is kind of... It's kind of annoying sometimes when you spontaneously come across enemies and she's not immediately there. So that that has been a problem for me, or at least a pet peeve for me. Um, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with your skin graphics. That's 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 a glitch in my game. I don't know how to fix that. Also, in this following clip, she has some pretty interesting dialogue options when you get further into the main storyline of the game. Your son Sean, great kid, a little older than you may have expected, but I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion. Ain't gonna happen, pal. Your boy's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him no matter where he is. Nothing will stop me. I think the mod maker actually did a really good job of, like, you know, including her into the story. It's a very cool alternate route that you can take. For a mod that only brings in a, uh, a companion, it brings a lot to offer with just one companion that it adds. I think they did a really good job on this mod. Um, what they lack in some places, they put... They, they keep up with when they put more detail in some other places. The, the amount of detail in this mod is insane. I, I would have I played more than three days with uh, with the mod before I did the review, but uh, um, I'm impatient. Um, and I don't like going through a lot of gameplay. So I thought I, I'd be very quick about this. this story be very, very, very quick about this. <laughs> well, let me know if you guys are okay with this being a new series on my channel and... I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. Peace out, guys. Thoughts are in a prison. Guard by bars that are written. They are known to no limit. I just speak shit into existence. Straight bullets keep whizzing. By my head, they keep missing. I should be dead, but I keep living. Fuck what they said, I don't listen. You are my soil, my prison. You are not loyal, stop bitching. You keep dissing, keep tripping. Your friction just keeps my vision vivid. You bitches are not.